Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and welcome to what is going to be a day of reading. So one thing I really enjoy doing every now and then is um, seeing how much I can read in one day and just setting aside a full day to read all day. That's something I really enjoy doing. Um, so I thought today, as I have a more or less free day, um, I would set aside the day for reading. Um, so it is just coming out to 12 noon now. I'm going to try and read for 12 hours until midnight. It might be that I get too tired and have to finish before then, but that's my like vague plan. Um, I thought it would be nice to set aside a day for reading today. One, because I always really enjoyed doing that but also because I am very behind on my Victoria TBR and there are quite a lot of Victorian things that I want to read and I also have quite a lot of short Victorian books on my TBR that it might be really nice to get to today. So I'm going to see how many of the short Victorian things on my Victoria TBR I managed to get through today. Um, so my main priorities for the day I would say are the three plays that were on my Victoria TBR. Um, so I have Afternoon by Weida um, which I'm looking forward to reading which I've got on my computer and um, I couldn't even get an edition of it that I could put on my computer. Kindle. I've got quite an interesting looking digital edition, um, which you'll we'll see in a minute. Um, so I might read that first. And then I've got two other plays which are on my Victoria TBR. I've got Charlie's Aunt by Brandon Thomas, which I'm looking forward to. And I've also got um, Condida by George Bernard Shaw, which I've got in this edition of Plays Pleasant. Um, so I've got a physical edition of that as well. I will read those three plays today. Those are my main priorities. Um, I think I can definitely get through three plays in one day. Whether I can read more than that, I don't know. We'll see. Um, if I get through those things, then I've got a couple of um, short Victorian books, sort of novellas. Miss Meredith by Amy Lenny, which apparently is only 95 pages, um, but Kindle edition pages are sometimes quite long, so um, it might not actually be as quick a read as I think. And I've also got Eve's Ransom by George Gissing, which is another short book um, which I've got on my Kindle. Um, then I also have this. This is in Darkest London by Margaret Harkness, which again is pretty short. So this is like 200 pages of relatively small writing, so this might be a slightly longer read. I will definitely not read all three of those novellas today, um, but I might read one of them. Um, and then I've also got some poetry if I feel like a change of pace. Um, these two things were not on my Victoria TBR, but I realised after my Victoria TBR that I had not put any poetry on it um, and that I would like to. So here I have Goblin Market and Other Poems by Christina Rossetti. This is at least mostly a reread for me. I don't know if I'll have read every poem in this collection, but I will have read most of these. Um, and this is actually the pick for my next book club, um, which I chose, it being Victober. So um, I thought it would be nice to read some of the poems in this today. It might be that I read some of them, but not all of them. Then the other thing I will probably read a bit of today is In Memoriam by Alfred Lord Tennyson, which is a longer poem, which um, I might have read before, but I think I've probably only read extracts from it, like in an anthology. I don't think it was the whole thing. So I might read that today, especially because I found a free audiobook of it on YouTube, which is about two hours long. And, you know, in the next 12 hours, I'm probably not going to be sat down reading solidly for 12 hours. You know, at some point I will cook and um, I might go on a walk later. So it might be nice to have an audiobook too. Um, and a short one would be good. So those are the things that I might read over the next 12 hours. Obviously, I'm not going to read all of them, but I will read some of them. Um, and it's going to be fun. So I I will keep you updated with how my reading goes and I will check in again later. two in the afternoon and I've just finished reading Afternoon by Weida, um, which I really enjoyed. It was good. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm 100% happy with the ending, but like I still thought it was really good. Um, and yeah, I really liked Weida's writing style. I'd be curious to read more plays by her. Um, it kind of reminded me quite a lot of Oscar Wilde's plays, I would say, in tone. Um, and actually in theme as well. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed that. And I've also listened to about 20 minutes of In Memoriam as well, um, which I am um, finding really interesting so far. I think I'll probably listen to that a bit on and off all day. Um, and then next, I think I'm probably going to pick up Charlie's Art by Brandon Thomas, because um, I think this should be a fun play. Um, so looking forward to that. And yeah, I'll check in again once I finish that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Charlie's Aunt by Brandon Thomas, which was delightful. This was so fun, very, very funny, very silly, really entertaining, like really well done. I really enjoyed this. So the setup is there are these young men at university and um, these students um, and one of them, Charlie, his aunt, is coming to visit, which is a great excuse for him and his friend Jack to invite um, the two young ladies that they're in love with around so that they can see them before the two young ladies go off to Scotland. Um, and obviously it wouldn't be appropriate for them to just invite the two young ladies around, but with Charlie's aunt as a chaperone, that's absolutely fine. But then they get a telegram from Charlie's aunt to say that she's been delayed and she isn't coming. And so in a panic, they persuade one of their other friends to um, dress up as Charlie's aunt and pretend to be Charlie's aunt. But then a few older gentlemen also end up coming to this lunch party. Um, and because Charlie's aunt is very, very wealthy, they start to um, try and flirt with um, the young man who's pretending to be Charlie's aunt. And everything kind of goes on from there. And it's very, very funny. Like it's really well done. Um, it's very witty and the dialogue is very sharp um, and the characterization is just really good and I really liked, yeah, so many moments. I thought it was really good. I feel like I was expecting this to be good fun, but I wasn't actually expecting this to be hilarious, but I was like laughing out loud a lot at this. It was really good, um, really like cheering and lovely. So I highly recommend Charlie's Aunt. It was great fun. I guess next I will read my third play. I will read um, Condida by George Bernard Shaw. Um, I think I should get some other stuff as well as the plays read today as I've read two plays already and I've only been reading for like four hours. I do really love reading plays. It's so lovely to get like a full story and lots of characters in just like a little short burst in a way that just works really really well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading Condida and I'll check in again soon. <laughs> So instead of starting Condida, I in fact listened to another sort of um, half an hour, I'm going to say, of In Memoriam. So I'm now an hour of the way through and I'm really enjoying it. Um, well, maybe enjoying is the wrong word for a um, long poem all about grief, but it is really powerful. Next, I am going to start Condida, um, but first I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. And I have a new brew tea box, which is exciting. Um, I will leave more links down below in the description to brew if you're interested because I do have an affiliate code for them um, and they also have a like autumn offer on at the moment um, and basically they are a tea subscription company so you get um, a box with lots of different kinds of tea in so I will see what I have today. Um, I have creme brulee tea. I have I had this last time and I really really liked it and I hadn't had white tea before so I'm gonna actually probably drink this now um, and then I've got some mango tea I'm quite excited about that in the evening and I've just finished reading Condida by George Bernard Shaw which um, I quite liked but I didn't love as much as I usually love George Bernard Shaw's plays. I feel like it's definitely not my favourite of his plays. Um, I feel like it's probably my least favourite of his plays I've read so far. It is basically a bit of a love triangle I guess. Um, there is a married couple and there is a young man um, who they kind of like taken into their orbit um, who is very taken with the wife um, and it's kind of about what happens from there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that one, I would say. So this one is um, bound up in Plays Pleasant, and then some of his other plays are bound up in a collection called Plays Unpleasant. Um, and I feel like Widower's Houses and Mrs. Warren's Profession, which are from the Unpleasant plays, I feel like their themes are better than Condida, um, and more interesting than Condida. Like, it lacked that um, depth of theme, but I feel like it was less funny and less fun than You Never Can Tell, which is the other one of his, um, pleasant plays that I've read. I feel like the tone was a bit off, maybe? I don't know. Like, I liked it, but I guess, I guess I just wouldn't 
as heartily recommend it as I would some of his other plays. But there we go. While I've been reading Condida, I was really enjoying my white tea, which is really nice. Um, I'll leave some links down below, as I said, to brew tea. I can't remember what I actually said two hours ago or whenever it was, um, an hour and a half ago. But I've got a discount code uh, where you can get 15% off if you fancy getting yourself some nice tea. So I'll put all that stuff down below in the description. Um, and yeah, I think next I'm probably gonna read Miss Meredith by Amy Levy, which I'm really looking forward to because I really like Amy Levy. So on to that. <laughs> Again, it's just coming up to 7.30 in the evening and I just finished reading Miss Meredith by Amy Levy, which I enjoyed. Um, I would say that it is quite a short and quite a simple story. I didn't find it as interesting as A Romance of the Shop by her, um, but I did still like it. Um, but I guess maybe I felt it was slightly underdeveloped. Like I feel like it could have been a much longer story with kind of deeper um, emotions and characterization, but for what it was, I did really enjoy it. It also had quite a lot of Bronte vibes, which I enjoyed. I feel like there are quite a lot of references to Jane Eyre and Valette, um, and it had quite an Agnes Grey feel to it um, in places as well. And in fact, at the very beginning of the book, um, when Elsie Meredith is sat at home with her sisters before she goes out to Italy to be a governess, um, they're having a conversation about Jane Eyre, which did entertain me. Um, and then she goes out to Italy, becomes a governess, and maybe there's a bit of a romance with um, a member of the family that she is working for. I really enjoyed the narrative voice of it. It's in first person, um, and overall I did enjoy it. But yeah, I think it was a bit short for maybe what it could have been. I don't know, I enjoyed it, but anyway. And then next, I think I'm gonna read um, Ease Ransom by George Gissing, which I'm looking forward to. Um, I really like George Gissing a lot and I haven't read anything new by him for a little while. Um, so I'm gonna read that, which is short, but less short than the other things I've been reading today. So that might be the only thing I'll get read today, maybe with more of um, In Memoriam and by Alfred Tennyson. I'm not sure, I'll see how I go. Um, so I'm gonna start reading Ease Ransom and I'm also gonna make myself some dinner and probably listen to a bit of In Memoriam as I do that. And yeah, I'll check in again soon. <laughs> Hello again, it is now five minutes to midnight, which seems a pretty good time to end my reading day. So I did indeed finish reading Ease Ransom and I also finished listening to In Memoriam. Um, so Ease Ransom by George Gissing, I enjoyed. It's a story of a man who is um, maybe sort of upper working class and he by chance um, ends up getting um, an unexpected amount of money. Um, and so he decides he's going to try and like have a nice time for a few years um, and take a extended break from work um, and while he is trying to um, live as he says it to himself um, he meets this woman called Eve. George Gissing is so interesting in so many ways I feel like I need to sit down and think about Eve's ransom a lot um, but there was a lot that I really liked in it and I thought it just um, captured the very complicated dynamic between these two people and those around them very well um, and I just feel like he conjures up late Victorian London um, really well. Although this book actually takes place also in Birmingham and also in Paris. Um, and I really enjoy like looking at 1880s Birmingham and Paris as well as 1880s London. Um, so that was really fun. So that was good. Um, and then I finished listening to In Memoriam, which um, I did like. I feel like maybe the audiobook was not the best way to experience it. I might reread it at some point physically in the future. Um, I feel like there were some passages of it that were very, very beautiful, but I feel like there were some bits that I didn't get much out of, which maybe I'll get more out of if I read it physically, I'm not sure. But yeah, this has been a pretty productive day of reading. Um, I read six things, which, you know, considering I had read before today five things in the whole of October, I'm pretty pleased with. Obviously they were all very short things, but um, I did want to get to them all, so that was really nice. And yeah, I think that's all for today. Please do let me know down in the comments if you've enjoyed this video um have you read any of these books what did you think of them that's all for now thanks very much and i'll be back very soon with another bookish video